what pleased me most, Nina, I can tell you, is that <laughs> not just your acceptance of, the, of, of, of serving as culinary ambassador for St. Lucia for one year. To me, that came almost naturally, and most naturally because during the course of the show, we realized the fact that you never forgot where you came from. Lucia had now endorsed its first culinary ambassador in the person of Nina Compton Miller. Well, there'll be more to hear about There are lots of things that you know we can do, and we're very happy that you have agreed to partner with us in that in you know, that respect. Um, as we always say, tourism is really the lifeblood of what transpires in Saint Lucia, and your assistance in putting us out there in the marketplace. Um, we really embrace it, and we're very thankful that you have agreed, you know, to be a culinary ambassador for us for the next year. We at the uh, Hotel Asso Tourism Association are delighted to have such an amazing role model out there that helps us to get across to our youth on the island what a great career culinary could be in our hotel industry. It's about the green, the green fig and saltfish, it's, it's about the acre, it's about what we do with breadfruit, what we do with all these things. So it's, it's our chance to shine and showcase what we have locally. When I think about this time last year, I mean, I was in, I had come, I was home for jazz and everything, and I'd gone to Hot Kachow and Paradise Prince was, was even in existence, it was even in my mind, and to be part of that is, is kind of mind-blowing, you know, I saw my name up on the sign yesterday, I'm like, oh my God, you know. They have this immense pride in St. Lucia. And I'm glad to know that they were, especially like with Nina being on Top Chef, she was able to instill that pride in our country because it's lacking. I'm excited. So when's everything?